All right, welcome back to another video. This time uh, I'm reviewing Inspired again, but he's going to be playing jungle. Um, he's into playing into Vi, which is like a really good matchup for him because he just massively outscale her after like the first item. And you also build Zonyas, which really counters her ult. Um, and this is like a really, really high elo lobby. I'm pretty sure like every single player in here is challenger, which is pretty rare to see. Funny enough, uh, Magi Felix is on the enemy team again. Like in the last review, uh, apparently these two meet quite often. So he's starting Raptors. From what I've seen, he starts Raptors every game, no matter what his team comp is. Probably just because it's the fastest and easiest way to clear a fiddle six. Because it allows you to full clear in three minutes. You can see here, pulls the Grump, and then he juggles the aggro really well. Finishes off the blue buff. You can see he's done a 3 303, and he didn't even use smite. So now he has a lot of free time, he's gonna look for a top gank. Poppy is baiting this really well. Flash Q. So the Gragas can get the kill. Even use Flash. He should go down here. Should like, probably like pretty slow, but he should go down eventually. Yep, Q into W, picks up first, but he's even gonna go straight into base, he's not even gonna bother with top crap. Because it would uh, ruin his tempo too much. He's just gonna go for his respawn camps. Because if he went for top crap, the Vi could have stolen his raptors. He sees a gank opportunity bot lane, so he's running straight to bot lane. Okay, I mean Zix was dead anyways, but he picks up an assist with his E. Goes back to farming with uh, some Crux. And you can see he has like really good setup on bot lane with Rel. So you wanna be playing with bot lane this game for sure. He sees a fight break up mid, so goes there, let's see if he picks up anything, he's the Yasuo, doesn't add up getting a kill. But you can see he's quite active in early game, even though he doesn't have ult yet, he's like looking for place. No, Gregas is really low, he's gonna move there, he's hexflashing over, hex over the wall. Uh, that should be a kill, nice, picks up another one, 2-0 run now. I mean, this is like the best start you could hope for, pretty much. He's gonna hex flash over this wall, I think. Try to kill Yasuo. Oh, he sees a Rakan. He uh, decides to go for the Rakan instead. Okay, pick him up. Okay, Yasuo goes in, but he should die for this. And he trades one for. Oh, actually, never mind. Magic Phoenix is just Faker. Well, that was really well played by him. It's still a 1 for 1, so it's fine. Goes back to his Raptors. He's gonna farm them. It's almost level 6, really close to level 6, so he's gonna go for the top crap probably. He can look for a play top lane after. He knows he has no flash, so he'll probably kill him. Hopefully going in. Really good sidestep on the Gragas all. Fearsome, just gonna drain. At this point he's dead, you don't even need to use your ult, you just like slowly kill him. Picks up the third kill. 3 0 run now. This is like the best you could hope for. What does he pick up? He gets Hextech Alternator, Blasting Ward, and a Pink Ward. He's gonna go cover his mid lane, probably. He sees a fight break now. Like, Yasuo just ulted his Tristana. So you can look for an angle to ult over the wall. Okay, his Tristana goes down. He's just gonna wait for this Yasuo to show up on the wave, because he knows he wants to push this out, and he's just gonna ult him. Yep. E him, and then just run him down. You don't even need to use any abilities, you can just run on him. He's gonna pick up this plate as well. So he's in a really good position now. He can even steal away the enemy's raptors, because why shall stop lane? Yep. Spites them, steals them away, and then he's gonna go into... Might actually find the Vi on the uh, Herald here. He can take this over. He can for sure finish this. I don't think he should peel off this. Because this Tristana has Pryo and his uh, Poppy just TP'd back and she's gonna have Pryo as well, so should be a free Herald for him. He's gonna fast forward here. Yep, picks up a Herald. 
Uh, he's massively ahead of this Viren. Uh, he's 402. The same CS, but you incredibly outscale Vi anyway, so this is extremely good. He's just gonna probably do his three camps topside and reset. Because there's a proto building base. Okay, now he opts to full clear. This is red. This is crux. Now he's gonna look for something bot lane. If he doesn't find anything, then he's just gonna reset. Okay, see something. They're trying to dive his Zion. He's gonna cover this. Yep. Probably just gonna look to reset now. There's a lot of gold. He can finish his proto belt. Proto belt and sorks and then the pink ward. I, I don't know if it was the old one or is a new one. No Drake is spawning and you have Herald, so you probably wanna put Herald mid here and then look towards Drake. Yep, spawns Herald. Sees the Yasuo but doesn't hold in, he just procs his windshield with his proto belt. You wanna get this Herald proc off. Probably not gonna kill this turret, but you can play Ani, which is really good. Puts the pink word in this bush. Now you wanna be looking for um, Drake. They see the. Oh. They would have caught the Rakan, but the Trisana would save, and then his EDC dies instead. So are they gonna give this Drake? I think they can fight this actually. Vi has no ult and he has ult, so... They might look to contest this. Okay, looks like they're just gonna give it and play for mid turret instead. So he's probably just gonna cover his Tresano here. He was thinking about ulting, but he decides against it. Gonna sit in top side. I would... He could invade here, to be honest. The red is spawning, so... You can just trap the Vi at red, because he knows she's gonna be there. She's nowhere else to be right now, so she's probably gonna ult her, yep. Oh, Rick Hugo blocked as well, science, and it's a free kill. Really smart play. By Inspired, he knew that she was gonna be at the red buff, so he just catches her off guard, picks her off. He's gonna defend the mid turret here. 502, 90CS, he's in an extremely good position now. And you can see the Vi isn't even doing that bad, but she's over 20 CS behind by now. Which is like really bad. She's now down an entire level. And this game is just gonna end probably because this Fiddlesticks will one v 9 this game. What's he gonna buy? He probably goes through his only a second here. Yep. Stopwatch finish codex. I'm gonna look for a bot play here. There's a huge fight breaking out. This is ult in 5 seconds. So you can definitely look for something. Probably doesn't even need to use it. You just put a bit in an eastern level. Yep. Saves his ult. Gonna farm his trucks. And then look to play. make a play in mid lane. Okay, doesn't see anything, so he's gonna go for his blue one. So next objective coming up is Harold. So they want to be forcing this, he has his ult as well. He's gonna look for a pick in mid lane, Let's see if he finds it. Did they show up here? Yeah, there they are. Jinx is dead, Jinx is dead. Yep. And this is why Protobelt is so good on Phil 6. Like, you can close such huge distances with the dash. And on champs like Zix, it's like so hard to play against this, because he has almost no mobility except for his W. And then he has like very very little time to react. So he ends up getting two kills here. Picks up the Herald, he's gonna full care from uh, from top to bot probably. Actually how much bolts is here. Could just recall after the wolves if he wants to. Yep. Get a Sonyas. Get Oblivion Orb. Really? Do you need Oblivion Orb here? I don't think you do, to be honest. I mean, they don't have that crazy healing. They have like Vi heal from Divine Sandra, and Gragas heal from his passive, and like Yasu has a bit of life steal, but I really don't think it's that necessary here. I personally would have just gone for um, either Void Stuff. I think Shadow Flame would be really good here. Actually, I think Void Stuff is better, because they have three, three people who are gonna build MR. 40. 
cake, get a, they pick up a free drake. He still has his herald, so he's gonna put it where Tristana is because Tristana is like extremely good at destroying turrets. They're weak siding top lane right now. He's just gonna hover around here and make sure that Tristana can save me hit the turret. Pick up the turret. So he's a, like you can see he built up a vision pocket here. He has like a ping ward here. He put, put his FEG here so he can just keep playing in between this area and protect the Zaya and this um, Tristana. And he completely like Poppy is like really irrelevant here, right? So he just wants to play for Tristana and Zaya. Could look to ult Rakan, but I don't think he will. Yep. Does decides against it. Okay, he's moving. He's clearing out the vision. He's still just hovering. Gonna steal away the prop, probably to reset. Not gonna reset, he's gonna go for a mid lane instead. He's looking to find a pick here. Will he find one? Nope. Maybe he finds the Vi though. Yeah, he just runs away. gonna move into top side here probably. Oh no, he's actually gonna do his raptors. Then he's gonna move into top side and look to play around Baron. They're so far ahead that they can just force Baron and then when the enemy walks up uh, he can just ult them. That's what you wanna be doing as fiddle when you're ahead. You just wanna be forcing objectives when you have ult up and then when the enemy walks up you can just ult them and they lose the team fight automatically and you can secure the objective. We really want to be pushing your leads. In the end, objectives are what really wins in the game. Like you can chase kills, but it really doesn't matter. Objectives are so much more work. Oh, he gets engaged on. Does he get one shot? No, he gets off his Zonya somehow. Flash is over. And he dies anyways. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Tries to get his ult off. Who does it? Who gets a Baron? Oh, six stole the Baron. Let's watch it again. I think he should have just insta on this one. Light ult. He should have Zonyas here. I'm really surprised he got his Zonyas off there. I thought he was just one shot. But, he, but if he insta Zonyas, he would like be almost full HP. And then he could ult and secure the Baron. So that was, a, that was a mistake. But it's fine to be honest. They get the mid lane turret. Get three kills. That's not the worst, that's not the end of the world. Okay, grabs his Hexec alternator. He's trying to finish his Morelos here. He's gonna clear his top side. Probably kill the crap as well. Might even find the Vi here. If she's greedy. Oh, yeah, she's moving towards him. Does he alter? Here, and she's just gonna run out then. She does ult her, but Jesus, she's just out. I think either you ult her like right at the beginning there, or you don't ult at all. But anyways, Drake is coming up, should be free as well. The enemy has no way to contest this, so. Okay. Steals away the enemy, right? Grump. He's gonna look for a pick mid lane here, he's ult. There's not really that much to do right now. You can just look for picks and then you need to wait for Baron. Might be able to find the Vi here. The red buff. Okay. It's a bit risky because there's no vision in, the, in this quadrant. Okay, dodges the uh, Rakan W with his Pro Belt. I think he's just out. We can re engage it over the, ult, uh, over the wall with his ult. Okay, finds three. Gets knocked away unfortunately, doesn't get his own himself and just dies, but it's still extremely worth it. I guess they just won, right? Yep. And that's how he stomps the game. You can see he's very active in early game. Even without ult, he can still find a lot of opportunities.
Alright, into the second game, we have Philo 6 against Gwen Jungle, which recently got buffed. You can see he's hovering around top side again, he puts his FAG down, he goes to his Raptors. I guess he does this every game, he just covers his top side, puts his FAG down, and then he goes towards his Raptors. And there's a full clear. Yep, standard fiddle gameplay, raptors, and then we do red, pull the crux over the wall, do both at the same time. So this game is also pretty high elo. I think it's not the full challenger, but almost. They have um, caps on the enemy team, and he's Lucian. He's gonna look for mid lane gank here. Caps is really low, he can like trade his flash maybe. Okay, no, he just gets his. He doesn't even get his flash out. But this is not bad for like it looks bad for Fiddlesticks, but it isn't because he has hex flash, so he really isn't afraid to use his flash in early game like that. The best like best case scenario, obviously you want to be like trading flashes, but even then it's fine. But I don't think this was really this was that smart. He loses a lot of time here. He's gonna be finished at like 3:30 instead of three minutes now with this whole thing. Okay, Caps dies, he's gonna go for top crack probably. I'm just gonna reset because I don't think he can find anything top lane. Gonna look for a mid lane play maybe. Hex is over the wall. Can he get anything? Nope. He's gonna run straight to his raptors because he knows Gwen is bot side and she might try to contest his respawn to raptors. Yep. Tries to contest, let's see who wins this my fight. Okay, Gwen picks up the big right there, but that's fine. Snami is moving, so now maybe they can fight. Why is he not helping Snami? What the hell? Okay, he's Gwen. I think this should be a pick up. Yep, get some free color. They get the Nami as well. I think he kind of trolled Snami there because he, for some reason, like hex flashed over and tried to kill mid. He should have helped the Nami instead, but. Either way, he gets a kill, it's really fine. He should reset after these cracks. Yep. How much gold does he sit on? 1.7k, so he's probably gonna get Sorix, Dark Seal, and Amptone. Yep. Goes into dead, but that's completely fine. He's gonna farm his respawn topside now. Actually, only does one camp. He's gonna look for a mid lane. Maybe he can find some. He can hex flash over into this bush. I'm not sure, this doesn't really look that gankable, I'm not sure why he's doing this. I think just doing your grump and crap would be better here. Yeah. Just the scuttle crab. Mid is really low now, maybe he can find something now. Flash over? Yeah. Flash E, Q, W, and he dies. He's really making Cap's life hell in this game. Oh, he hit 6 of this. He's just gonna ult in now. Huh? Yep, they're both gonna die for sure. Oriana ult as well. Jesus. I mean, now it's GG to be honest. Like, they're 5k ahead, 4k ahead at 7 minutes. It's like really rough for the enemy. Quite unlucky for them that he hit 6 of that Raptor. Gonna do his red, red into Crux. Just gonna reset. Blasting one, Hextech alternator, five stacks and dark seal, he's in such a good position now. Gonna clear his top side. And I'm probably look to like gank mid. Probably wanna find something mid and then do a herald. I think he's identified caps as the injury this game, so he's just gonna go mid constantly. Okay, his vein dies. Nico use both sums. gonna hover around. He knows Gwen is on Herald right now, so he could be either going to Drake or he could Hexflash over the wall into mid and ult Caps when he comes back again because he will not expect this at all. He thinks uh, Fiddler 6 is spot side right now, so this is like a really smart play. Could ult him, yeah, it should be a pick up. Yep, just like that, and he gets free Drake for this. Really smart play by him. I don't think a lot of... Oh, okay, he doesn't get Drake, but he's just gonna go back to farming now. I don't think a lot of players would have made that play, it's like really smart. K, 
Okay, gonna hex switch over, or does he kill the caps? Nope. He actually gets his flash out though. Whoa. How did he catch up there? Hold on. What? Oh, the Nami speed, I guess, and then the E slow from Nami. Damn, it's my crazy. Yeah, gets his flash out. That's really big. But he's just gonna be freaking on next time he falls. Okay. Fierce the Skarner. Caps dice to Nami ult. Skarner is dead as well. This game is completely over. When he won this game in 7 minutes, basically. Can I kill this Gwen as well? Nope, but he can chunk every game. Oh. Nami overextended quite hard there. But yeah, it's fine. Picks up a plate. Oh, he's just gonna reset. This is Protobelt and base, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Protobelt, pink ward. Can look to kill mid again. He knows he has no flash. He has no vision at bot side either. Oh. Okay, Mrs. Old. Was really close though. So I think they're gonna do Drake anyways. Yep. Can he finish this? No, he can't, because there's something going on mid lane. He's gonna help us mid later. Flashes and caps. Does he get him? Unfortunately, not. Nami's gonna go down here. Do they trade something back though? Uh, I think not. Oh yeah, he blundered his ult there. At least it was a nice try though. He thought Caps was gonna walk this way, but he like walked back into his turret. Okay, he's looking for the Quinn. Hex flashes in. Doesn't get her. You can just hack uh, Blast Gun out of here, yep. So now he still wants to look for Drake, but he doesn't have ult, so it's kind of tough. He's just gonna protect bot lane now, because they spawned Herald, he sees them walking bot lane. It's gonna be a fight. He's just hovering back here, because he's waiting for his ult to come back up. He's a really good patience. Yep, now he's ult, he can ult in. He does Nyla, Q into W, and she dies, and he doesn't even die for it. That was really good patience there. He's gonna do Crux, then maybe Drake. We're just gonna full clear. Let's see what he does. I think he's just gonna full clear. Yeah. Well, actually, he does three caps, kills the Skarner, picks up the Drake. I mean, they should just have F, honestly. This game is completely over. They're 10k ahead in 50 minutes. Caps is 0 6, Skarna is 0 5 0. Fails his ult again, but it really doesn't matter at this point. Okay, he's killed his Gwen. Yep. Gonna look for Herald now. Oh, actually, they surrendered. 